Dear friends, welcome to problem solving session 2 on central limit theorem. So in this problem, n random variables are given x1, x2, x3, etc, etc. All are poison variable. Whenever they say poison, immediately we remember lambda is equal to np, that is equal to my mean, that is equal to my variance. Here it is given as 2. Great. So, according to our problem, the central limit theorem, mu is mean, that is going to be 2. Sigma square is my variance, that is also going to be 2. So, sigma is going to be positive square root of 2. So, everything is done. So, now I know my sigma, mu, as well as lambda. So, in this problem, Sn is given, they are not asking you what? X bar. They are asking you Sn. Also, n is given, n is 75. So, all the data are given. Now, we have to crack the problem using Sn. So, as I said in the previous video, either they will ask X bar. If the problem is on X bar, we have to use this formula. If the problem is on Sn, we have to use the formula n mu by sigma root n. So now we have to use this. So it is an open problem. What is the probability of Sn lies between 120 to 160? So first of all, we will write Z Sn minus n mu divided by sigma into root n. So Sn we are going to use from the problem n is 75, mu is 2, sigma is root 2, root n is 75. So my z is going to be sn minus 150 divided by square root of 150. Now use your calculator, substitute the value 120, when you transform it will become z, when you put 120 you will be getting minus 2.45. When you substitute 160, here 160 minus 150 by root t is going to be 0.85. Then guys, so immediately we have to go for the normal curve, shade the region and find the solution. So one side is going to be 0.85, the other side is going to be minus 2.5. Four, five. So just you have to see the table and you have to find both the area. And we are going to use the symmetry property to find the area. The first step is done by splitting the area of this and this. The second step is by symmetric property. Now the problem is very simple. Go to your table, find the value of 4. It's going to be 0.4927. The other one is 0.2939. So 0.7866. So the probability of getting the value between 120 to 160 is going to be 0 0.7866. The next problem. There are 50 random variables considered. So I will take first of all n is equal to 50. And all follows Poisson distribution. So my lambda is given as 0 0.03 directly. So according to our problem, mu is equal to lambda is equal to sigma square all of 0 0.03. So I can find sigma immediately positive square root of variance. So this is given in our hand. Now we have to evaluate probability of Sn greater than or equal to 3 using central limit theorem as well as the next thing is we have to compare with the exact values. So one by one we are going to do this problem. So given n is 50, sigma is going to be square root of 0 0.03 and I have to find probability of Sn greater than or equal to 3. Whenever we see Sn, we have to use the formula for Sn. So it is going to be n mu divided by sigma root 10. And we know all the values. So my n is 50, 
mu is 0 0.03, sigma is square root of 0 0.03, and root n is going to be root 50. So everything is ready now. Let us go and solve the problem. So while you convert into z, substitute the value of SNS 3. So z is equal to 3 minus 50 0 0.03. So use your calculator and find the values and enter into the problem. So it is simply z greater than or equal to 1.2247. So now I am just writing rough figure. So z should be greater than or equal to 1.22. So the area is like this. Now we know the classical formula for point. We know the classical formula to solve the normal distribution. It's going to be 0.5. Probability of z lies between 1.22. Now use the table value and find the area. So it's going to be 0.388. So my answer is 0 0.1112. So this is the probability I get from central limit theorem. But what they ask using the exact value. So now we know the formula for Poisson distribution. In general, if it is a single random variable, my Poisson distribution is e power minus lambda, lambda power x by x factorial. So we should be very careful here students because this is for single random variable. Now I have 50 random variables x1, x2, x3, etc, etc. I am going to take the sum. This is what I asked in the question. Do you remember if there is a sum, if it follows the normal distribution, my mean is going to be n mu, variance is going to be n sigma square. So now my lambda, I should take it as, now I have to take my lambda as n mu, not simply lambda. So my n is 50, mu is going to be 0 0.03. So my new formula is for 50 random variables. Whenever I go for Sn, I have to use e power minus n into mu, n mu power x divided by x factorial. So this is for 50 random variables. So probability of Sn greater than or equal to 3. It is very tough because it goes up to infinity according to our problem. Simply x1, x2, x3, I'll write xn, which is greater than or equal to 3. So we have to find the actual value or actual probability for the given problem. So it is very tough to go up to infinity because it is greater than or equal to 3, it goes up to infinity. So I use the classical formula for probability. I will simply write this as what? Well x1 plus x2 etc xn less than 3 so now less than 3 means I have the value between 0 to 2 0 to 2 we have to use the formula e power minus n mu n mu power x by x factorial because I am using sn so 1 minus 0 to 2 e power minus mu is 0 0.03 n is 50 0 0.03 50 power x by x factorial now if you take your calculator you know how the calculator works find the values of this and subtract with 1 and you will be getting the answer 0 0.1915 now you can see my actual value is 0 0.1915 using central limit theorem my approximation is 0 0.112 so, so the problem gets over